Cause they told me sent some shit, so we're working on some amen shit. Yeah, uh, club in the morning, off like two. Sip champagne when we talk about views and cut like us. We stuck in the trap. Steak ain't rare, so we sending it back. All of my brothers are rare, can't cap. The money was quick, now we sending a few. I'm down by the hundred, we starting to shoot. I hit 21, just watch how we move. PR in my blood, no, I ain't no thug. Down. And right before the break, or during the break, we were talking about manif- manifestations. Yeah. So. We've talked about this before. One of mine is getting this guy to do a podcast. Took me a long time. Took me four years to like, hey, bro, you have the personality. And me personally, I didn't want to be in front of the camera. I want to be behind the scenes, Mm. setting everything. But he goes, look, if we do this, you're in the front with me. There's no way around it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go out of my comfort zone yeah. to at least join the team, be part of it. Yeah. And it's probably been one of the best decisions that yeah. he kind of mm-hmm. pressed me to be part of it. But yeah. And, and yeah, it's like and we're, 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 we're breaking through uh, this fear wall that we have in front of us. Like, I need to get through that wall. Mm-hmm. We're literally doing that every time we come on here because I'm fearful every time I come on here. I'm, mm-hmm. like, nervous. Fabian's nervous. Like, we're all like just like, it's a hard, it's a hard thing to do, bro. Like, yeah. yeah, it's a heart. What the fuck is that? Just cancer? <laughs> <laughs> I think little, cancer trying to get in you right now. Was <laughs> that a shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> but, but yes, yeah. yeah. And and we're doing it like <clears throat> people come here and watch us. Thank God you guys are here watching us. And there's a bigger picture to what we're doing. And there's some people who can hear it, and there's some people who can't. The mm-hmm. people who hear it will come here, and we're inviting everybody that wants to be a part of it to come here. Talk to us. Give us experience. What did because everybody has their own experience, right? In life, yeah. like ex- share it because we, we're we're looking for you and the people who can hear it are the ones that are meant for this. Mm-hmm. Yes. And now yeah. I'm gonna cry right now. Imagine I throw up. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> uh, cry but don't throw up. <laughs> no, I have to. I'm gonna throw up first. <laughs> so yeah. I'm curious. I know mm. you're like music. You're an artist. Uh-huh. What else are you pushing yourself? towards like what mm-hmm. uncomfortable zones are you putting yourself in this may be the podcast already mm-hmm. alone we're like hey i normally wouldn't do one but is that something yeah. you're doing what else are you doing so that way people can be like you know what this is what it takes i think that i spent so many years in fear of what my life would be if i changed it that now all i want to do is change it if that makes sense so yeah. being in a situation and just being completely honest, you know, no, uh, how do you say it? Like boundaries, um, no, no shade borders, to like, just, no, hey. no shade to like my ex or anything, but, um, shade. leaving All that shade. situation, you fucked up, homie. Fuck that si- leaving you fucked that up. situation Fuck was, that. it was scary. It was scary. I was married. Um, I had kids. I was relying entirely on this person. And so that was scary. It was okay. a scary transition. And I, I spent a long time worried about what would happen if I left, you know, and then I left and then now I'm here and I'm like, you really like freedom is on the other side of fear. Like you have to just jump over fear and do it because then you're you're going to be like, wow, I am so free. I'm Mm -hmm. so free. Like, I can't believe I let that fear hold me back. And so. That's why even with this um, opportunity with you guys, it's I wasn't afraid. I wasn't afraid. I was excited. Uh, Nervous, of course. You know, we're human. We get nervous. Yeah. 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 A little scared, but but not to the point where I'm not going to do it anymore. Because I learned that when you get over fear, freedom is on the other side. Everything you want is on the other side of of fear. A hundred percent. To piggyback off of that, Mm -hmm. what I've learned in my life lesson, because I'm single, I have no kids and everything, but Mm -hmm. what I've noticed, what I've enjoyed is the peace. Mm -hmm. What you seek for is peace Mm -hmm. when you're in a fear state. So once you cross over, but... Then again, I'm not trying to take away people that are in a couple relationship. Right. You Just can still leave find them, that. You can still find that. <laughs> but what you're lo- what you're seeking is peace mm-hmm. instead of fear. So yeah. I'm right. glad that you were able to make Thank that you. transition. Yeah. That yeah. because nobody really takes the time to at least tell you, you know what? Thank you. We're so happy that you made it that far. Mm-hmm. So this is why we kind of created part of it. Mm-hmm. I've been in a position where like I didn't have nobody else. He's the one that was literally keeping me up. 
to her like, hey, stop. And <laughs> I say it because I understand. Yeah. So yeah. I just want to make sure that people understand like, hey, yeah. find your peace. Yes. It can be with the one you love. Yes. can be with Absolutely. the one without, but find your peace. Yes. And, and, and what I notice is like, you know, I'm single. So I talk to, you know, I, and through life, like I've spoken to a lot of women that have that same fear of like, I don't want to leave my man because mm-hmm. it's just like, they, I, I, at the end of the day, they know what it is. It's financial. It's like they have everything, right. have their kids. And it's mm-hmm. just like, they're so fearful of like mm-hmm. what could happen that they'd never, like they're in a relationship that they fucking completely hate. Like, right. And, and Super like, unhappy. Yeah. Right. Unhappy. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and, and we have one life and mm-hmm. uh, you know, you want to live it the way you want to live it. Right. But if you're living it under a, uh, I, I'm going to get too deep on this, but if you want to live it, Mm-hmm. And uh, 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 <laughs> if you want to live it, the American dream that they tell you, you have to have a white picket fence. You got to have mm-hmm. a house. You got to have a dog. You got to take Christmas right. pictures. Mm-hmm. There's all these things that were put into our minds as society. human society, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You, this is it, when you see people in the Christmas picture, like, was that them or was that like because society told them that they should take this picture right. for capital gain like everything we have in our life is for capital reasons it isn't right. because uh we love fucking halloween it's because these companies mm-hmm. are pitching this mm-hmm. idea to us and we need to propaganda. follow propaganda mm-hmm. that we need to follow christmas Absolutely. and we need to follow all yep. this fucking fake ass shit mm-hmm. and i think like this no longer happening no more in like these past seasons mm-hmm. people are seeing it like black friday mm-hmm. a halloween no one was out like all this yeah. is happening and it puts people in like autopilot mm-hmm. yeah. where mm-hmm. there's not like a genuine desire for these things it's just autopilot mm-hmm. because it's something that society said do this yeah. and you become accustomed to it and then you're unhappy yeah and that's relationally that's uh work-wise that's uh you and your kids your family uh your friendships it will play into every aspect of your life uh, if you're not if you're unhappy go it yep. doesn't matter i'm relationally employment go yep. i promise you if you manifest the right things in your life they will come into fruition like yep. they absolutely will happen just go yeah. don't stay where you're unhappy yeah yeah it one thing that people it. make an assumption on is like Money will bring happiness. Yep. No, fuck it no. does not. Fuck no. I've heard this before is you can have the richest person in the world and mm-hmm. still be miserable because they yes. have nobody around them compared to somebody who's poor, but they have a family and a culture and a love that yes. they're much richer than the richest person in the world. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. please take the time to at least invest in yourself, the ones around you. And just be conscious of like, okay, not everybody that's with you is going to be there for you. So mm-hmm. make connections. I'll say that. Open yourself up to at least experience it and then make that final decision. Like, okay, is he worth being in part of my life or do right. I need to move on mm-hmm. or yeah. take a break? Yeah. It goes for both men and women. You yes. Know, they, yes. For all of us. All of us. So. Yeah. And like, like I was saying earlier, like it's just like – we have to understand that these there's these rules in front of us that we can follow. And like, why are people so depressed? Why are mm-hmm. people so unhappy with all these great things exactly. that they followed, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because maybe that's not the guidelines we need to follow because that's not mm-hmm. the Amer- the American dream. You go to college and you get kids and you get married and then it's like, why does 50% of fucking marriages end? It's because that idea that we follow is may not be the fucking right thing and that's okay yeah. and it's okay not to be okay yes yeah. right Absolutely. right yeah, it's, yes. it's okay it's okay to fucking not have everything together like bro it's actually more, more normal th- to not be okay exactly. like it's okay yeah. to not be okay is the normal yeah uh, acting like you're normal is not normal yeah that's, that's actually mental illness yeah. at the end okay. of the fucking Absolutely. day individually you feel like you go through a certain personal experience that you feel that nobody else has mm-hmm. but little do you know everybody has uh, felt that when you're real same thing yeah so i mean out there we have multiple outlets people can drown themselves in movies and and tvs music songs so is there a song out there that gets you in that happy place something that brings you love happy. joy something that Whoa. Because keep in mind, anything can just find that pleasure. But is there a song out there that you're like, you know what? Every time I hear this, I'm up. 
Man, there's so many. Uh, you you guys know the one. She wakes up early every morning just uh, to do her hair now because she can. That was, was that? Uh, Space Jam. That was the real uh, Space Jam. Da, 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 da. Oh. Da, Damn. <laughs> Very random. Yeah, I know. That wasn't that was not the space. I know the space. But one. okay, yeah. okay, start started off that way, but then it transitioned to something else. That's now. a techno shit. Yeah, that that one. I can't even remember the name of the song, but you know somebody's that, gonna know. Yeah. Somebody on here is gonna be like that. Do you have a pick me upper? <laughs> dude, anything with Drake, dude, I don't know. Like That's bro, true. I swear to God, Drake, like, dude, like I didn't even know I felt that, but Drake is able to express I'm like I yeah. felt that before. I didn't know I felt that because, like, I didn't know how to express it. So anything, like, has to be with Caribbean, Drake, mm -hmm. and, like, just things that tap into real shit. Like, people say, like, oh, Drake has a writer. No, he doesn't because what he's talking about is so real, and that's why he's so dangerous, and that's why he's the biggest artist in the world because he can connect with just a couple words, and we're like, fuck, I felt that. <laughs> like, why he's the biggest artist? Like, way bigger than Michael. Like, fuck. Like, true, I've been there true. before. Like, damn. <laughs> was that what it was? Like, yeah. So it's Drake music for me, bro. Okay. Uh, I'm a Drizzy. Okay. I'm an oldies fan. I'm an oldies but goodies, but like Britain Wood. Okay, yeah. His type of good, music good. where like it was like it puts you in a, in a good state. And mm. it was always like the message kind of kind of fit with me. Where like I understand where like he was trying to get at this girl, but it didn't work out. Let me give but you when some it did, time a sign. Yeah. Something. Oh, like, my talk baby. to me. That's the kind of generation that I love the most. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite music? Comment down below. We'll be right back. Artificially genuine.